Hey guys, what's going on? Suave Pav here on today's episode of Suave Pav. Actually, this is episode number seven, so we are good. We are doing great. Consistency is the name of the game, and I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, that is how you're going to succeed in anything, really. It doesn't just marketing and network marketing, it applies to everything. If you do something consistently long enough for a long period of time, you're going to succeed. That's just the way it is and that's just the way it, it that's just the way it goes. So today actually, pretty cool story. We had a great hangout with the team, with team consistency. We had some great people come on. Uh, we had people like Jeff, like Hope, like Susan, um, just coming on and telling their stories about what they're doing, why they started uh, getting into the industry, why they wanted to achieve the goals that they wanted to achieve, what goals they actually wanted to achieve. They were actually really, really cool people. And um, so uh, Hope was actually doing her blog, which is really cool, and I watched that, and that was really awesome. And that is one of the best ways to start gaining results is blogging, right? Because it's your home on the internet, right? And if you're doing it consistently every single day, you're going to get great results. Uh, you're going to get amazing results, especially when your blog is being syndicated on all of your social media, everything. So whatever it is that you're doing in this business and online marketing or whatever it is, be consistent with it because it's going to take you to amazing heights that you just never thought were possible. Just think of it this way. If you draw a picture long enough, the same picture over and over and over again, every single day for let's say like a month, right? Maybe that first day that picture took you a while to draw, but towards the end of it, you're gonna be able to draw it like nothing, right? It's gonna be quick, it's gonna be very fast because you've done it so many times, you were consistent with it, and now you've reached your goal of being able to draw it without, it, without looking at it. You just, you just do it really quick. So that's the whole point of it. That's the point of the consistency. So whatever you're doing in your marketing, be consistent with it, whether it's blogging, making videos every single day, whether it's um, going through products every day, whether it's learning every day, reading, whatever. The more you learn, the more you earn. I truly believe in that. Um, I want to tell you a quick story of uh, like an example of this, right? An example of success, an example of what happens when people are not consistent, when they get stuck in something, when their belief levels are not to where they should be. And, um, think of when a wild bear comes into a zoo. They put it in a cage, and everyone's afraid of it, right? Because that thing is just wild, right? Then the zookeeper comes, and he's like, hey, I'm going to go feed this bear. Everyone's like, don't feed the bear. It's crazy. It's wild. It just came out of the wild. Don't go anywhere near it, right? He goes in there, you know, feeds the bear, gives it its food, whatever. Days go by, months go by of this, and slowly the bear gets more, you know, it's, it's not so wild anymore. It feels like it's tamed. It's, lose, it's lost its... Um, it's lost its, you know, it's just lost itself kind of. It's just been trapped inside this cage. It's doing the same thing, the same routine over and over again. And it's just, just stuck in this, in this location where it can't be itself. It can't go out and do what it needs to do as a bear, as a wild animal, right? And then even more years go by. And you can see that, like, on, in the eyes of this bear, they're glazed over. It's just lost the will to live. It just doesn't want to be around anymore, right? It's just like, wow, this is the rest of my life. This is how things are going to be, right? So... Then the zookeepers, let's say, take that cage off, right? Now what happens when they take that cage off after the bear has been in that cage for so long, it's so used to being in that cage with that barrier around it. When they take the cage off and there's an invisible line now of where that cage used to be, when they place the food beyond that line, the bear won't move, the bear won't cross it, right? Because in its mind, it's still inside that cage. And that's how a lot of people are right? They're working their jobs. They're doing this. They're in this cage where they, they feel like, hey, you know, this is going to be the next 40 years of my life. I have to go to this job. I have to be in this routine of doing something I don't want to do. I can't reach the goals that I want to reach. It's like people have lost, they're being tamed pretty much by society, by what people tell them they can do and what they can't do, right? Um, so it's essentially kind of like the story about the bear, right? which is how a lot of people, you know, live their lives, right? They, they're in a cubicle or they're in an office or they're working this job that they hate. They're doing things that they hate. I want to bring you out of that cage, right? I want to take you past that line that you think that that is how things have to be because that's not how they have to be, right? That's not how they have to be at all. You can cross that line. 
there's a new way of doing things. There's a way for you to succeed where you couldn't have succeeded before, right? And that's what I want you to do. That's what I encourage you to do is just step over that line of what you think is normal and open your mind and open the horizons, open the possibilities of what you can do and what you can achieve because you can achieve it because there's people achieving great success as long as they want it bad enough. Do you want it bad enough? Is that, ask yourself that question. Do you want this bad enough? It doesn't matter how many people think you're crazy. It doesn't matter how many people laugh at you for doing what you're doing, right? Because I've, I've definitely had that. People definitely thought I was crazy. People thought I lost my mind when I started doing online marketing, right? But I didn't care, right? Now I take romantic walks to the bank, right? Who's laughing now, right? It's, it, my whole thing was I wanted to prove them wrong, right? And that's how I, that's, I love chaos. I love not knowing. To me, it is more interesting the journey on the way to making the money than actually making the money itself, right? It's that whole journey, it's that challenge, it's that adversity, it's that all the obstacles, everything. I love overcoming obstacles, I love chaos. I don't, I don't like being in one place, I don't like being comfortable and that's one of the things that, you know, it's been like that my whole entire life, right? I went into, you know, I lived in, I was born in Siberia, I was born in Russia, moved to New York and New York after a certain amount of years, you know, when I turned 18, I decided to join the military. I went, well, actually, I went into the military when I was 19. I didn't go in right away, but, you know, I went to a different place. All of a sudden, it's just like new people, new environment, new everything. And I flourish in environments like that. I love being in areas where I am not comfortable. And then after boot camp in Chicago, I went to Pensacola for eight school. Again, new people, new environment, new situations, and I kept growing, right? And then after that, after Pensacola, I went to Virginia. I was stationed in Virginia on the USS Enterprise in Norfolk, Virginia. Again, everything was new. It was crazy. I love it. That's where I grow. When I get too comfortable, that's when I start failing. When I'm in my comfort zone, I'm in my failure zone. So that's what I encourage you to do, to step out of where you are comfortable because if it isn't changing, if nothing in your life is changing where you are now, where you're comfortable, move to somewhere where you're uncomfortable because you will be forced you will be forced, it will force you to adapt, it will force you to grow, and it will force you to overcome adversity and challenges, right? That's essentially what this business is, right? It's completely different, right? Because it's telling you that you don't have to work your ass off, you know, like 12 hours a day to make money. Work smarter, not harder. But a lot of people say that they can only, you know, oh, I don't have to work hard because I work smart. Well, I work hard and I work smart. So what do you have to say about that, asshole, right? So think about that, right? Um, there's a new way of doing things. Be open-minded to what's going on. It's 2015, there's new ways of making money, there's new ways, there's new opportunities out there. Leverage these opportunities that are happening, right? There's, there's people in the past, and you can take examples of this, of people who um, refused you know, to change with the times, to change with what, was, with what was happening, right? We're in an information age now. We're no longer in an industrial age, right? We're in the information where we're in the age of like where any kid at his house in front of a computer could have an idea and just make millions of dollars. And it's the information that he has that makes him that money. It's no longer, you know, how it used to be where in the olden ages where you're a king or a queen or whatever and you were, you know, the power was brought back down to you. Or in the stone ages where the guy with the person with the most power was the, the strongest and the most fit person, the one that could take care of their people, right? It was no longer the person that had the most capital, right? It was no longer industrial. It's information, and that's what you have now. The ability to learn things that people out there are looking for and present it, present it to them because if you have the information, you have the power, right? Because you could charge people anything if you just have the information, right? People want it. If they can't do it themselves, they'll pay you anything to do it for them or to learn how to do it themselves which is why I encourage my students, my colleagues, everyone I work with to learn how to do it themselves so they can teach it to others. So learn, do, teach all at the same time is the best way that you're gonna achieve tremendous and amazing results. So basically that is everything I kind of wanted to talk about today. And once again, I wanna give a huge shout out to everyone that was on the Hangout today. You guys are massive action takers. I can't wait to see you guys start getting results. I can't wait to meet you at the next events. Keep doing what you're doing. Some of the most powerful stories I've heard in a while. You guys are really awesome. It's really great to be around like-minded people. 
that you could actually conversate with, right? Because we can't really talk about this to people who don't get it, right? They just look at us like we're crazy. That's a beautiful thing about this industry and about the system that, you know, about online marketing is because the people in there, when they connect, they connect, right? And when they start making money, you start making money. And it's like a team. So remember, don't try to do this all on your own. We're all part of a team. We're doing this together. Stick with it. And I promise, with, promise you, if you stick with it, I will help you get to your goals. I will help you achieve your goals. Just don't slack. Don't treat it like a hobby. This isn't a lottery. Do the work. And then the rewards will come, right? So once again, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Suave Pav. I'll see you guys later. Subscribe below or add me on Facebook. There's a link or a button. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Bye.